this is our insulation machine. It's a cool machine CM2400. It's a 230 volt machine with four blowers. This is the perfect all round fiber machine. It's very powerful and you can use it both for small task and also for the really bigger task. It comes with a power supply of three times 10 amps. And when you want to use it, you first of all secure your power, turn on the main switch here, and then you can see in the voltmeter here that the power is on, and you also have an hour meter above it. Furthermore, when the machine is running, you can see how big the consumptions of amps are. This one here is fitted with our regular three button wireless remote system. It has an on function, function for air and you can turn on air and material. The remote system are in two pieces. You have a transmitter and you have a receiver box. The receiver box is fitted by magnets, meaning that you can move it around on the machine to make sure that you always have the best coverage between the receiver and the transmitter. You can also run it manually by the main selector switch, meaning that if something should happen to your wireless remote system, you can operate it manually or you can use the cord remote system, which are standard for all our machines. We'll now turn on the blowers on the machine. This machine comes with four blowers. You have two of the blowers which you can control the speed here. And the other two blowers are when you really need a lot of air. So these run full power. We'll start by showing, turning on one blower. As you can see, we can adjust the blower speed here. Goes from stage one to seven. Second blower on. And when we turn third blower and fourth blower. The material settings are done here with the material gate. We have a handle here, which you turn around. And as you can see here, this here is a 16 inch airlock. That's the biggest airlock we have. And you adjust it here by the handle set the material gate and the airspeed according to what task you're going to use the machine for. You have a loading tray which falls down. You can have an add-on with a curtain here in order to um, retain the dust from the material coming out of the machine. You have a glass window into the material chamber so you can always see if there's something stock or whatever you need to do. In case you need to empty the hopper of the machine, this door here comes off by the four bolts here. So you have easy access to clean out the machine. It has a unique auger system for handling the fiber. The augers are designed so that the fiber will be pushed around in the chamber. It will circle around, meaning that the airlock will be force fit, uh, force feed, and giving an optimal capacity of the machine. The design of the 2400 are made so it's quite slim meaning that it will not take up much space in a car or a trailer. Instead of having a big square machine, this one will allow you to have it sitting in the side of the trailer or the, or the car, and you will be able to have all your other tools or insulation material around the machine. The height of the hopper can be adjusted. It has three height settings, so it can be adjusted to fit the van trailer or truck. Some of the unique features about the design of the cool machines are that uh, first of all they are built into separate units 
meaning that when we need to service the machine, the airlock is an independent unit which can be dismantled and taken out from the machine quite easily. It's the same with the blower box, also very easy to dismantle in order to either service or replace the blowers. Um, in general, all the cool machines are very well engineered and in some way over engineered, meaning that all bearings, shaft, etc. are a very over dimensioned, meaning that you will have a long life without any problems. It's slow running moving parts, so the bearings will more or less last forever. And due to the dimensions of the shaft and the general con constructions, you will hardly ever see any failures in these parts of the machine. Up here you have an air pressure gauge showing the air pressure of the airlock. This one you use in order to make sure that the airlock pressure is fully intact. It always needs to stay in the green area when the machine is turned on and you cut off by hand the air out, uh, outlet. Always when you turn the machine on, make sure that the emergency breaker is out and that you have sufficient power. That means that you shouldn't have a power drop more than 10% of the standstill voltage. Here it's 232 volt, meaning that you shouldn't see a drop more than 23 volts when you start the machine. We will now start the machine with both blowers and material turned on. You can always go back to only air and then turn it fully off. There's a lot of overload protection built into the machine. Everything is protected by terminal breakers, meaning that if anything should be overloaded, these will pop out. So everything is visible on the outside of the control panel and easy to see if you have a, a fuse which trips. Furthermore, there is an overload function built into the agitator motor. This one is play, replaced, sorry, this one is placed below the motor with a red button, which needs to be pushed in in case of overload. In general, it's a no-nonsense machine, easy to work with, with a very high capacity. It can handle all kinds of fiber, and it's very easy for the operator to work with. Furthermore, it's quite simple to service.